excited about Big Blue Madness? I have. I've never had the opportunity to do something like that. What are you looking yeah. forward to the most? <laughs> Honestly, just it it's been such like a, a sweet hard summer, you know, passing like now it's going to be good to have some fun and um, see the fans interact and you know, it'll be really the first time I've put on any the uniform like so it'll be like cool. Do you have any personal or team goals for the season? <laughs> yeah, I mean just to develop as I stay in college and that's what I'm doing. Just develop mentally, learn the goals and you know, I don't want this to be a real you know, it's, it's easy to say, but I, I don't want to make Mm -hmm. Especially with the team that you're just trying to get to know as well. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been difficult, and as I mentioned before, you know, transferring. For me, I was trying to grow, and I think as much as you grow on court, like that's only the second massive step. I mean, you know, I have to be ready for anything that's going to happen, and I mean, going into next year, like, I'm, I'm going to play, I don't know, like, I have to learn now to, like, deal with new people, new teams, some people in the new coaching staff, like, it's different, so I think leadership wise, you know, I'm, I'm adapting and I'm learning. And it was a bit rocky for me with the first week of practice, but I think I'm getting hang of it now. What was your familiarity with uh, SEC ball before you got here, and what are you expecting? Yeah, I mean, maybe two or three times a year we played against the SEC team. One of them actually being Kentucky in the Bahamas. Um, but you know, we played against you know the Tennessees, the LSU, the Missouri's. Um, <laughs> so I, I know that the games are, are more intense and more athletic, um, and I think it's a great stepping stone to what I personally want to achieve. Um, but I know that it's, it's definitely it's tough. Anything can happen. It's, it's wild, and you know it'll be great environments. And I'm excited to play. A lot of people ask Brooks, you know, what do you feel like this team can do and is capable of? And he said, if we have a really good point guard, then we have a chance. When you hear that. How do you sort of handle that as a player, knowing there's going to be a lot of pressure and leadership on you when you enter the season? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a blessing that, you know, junior and senior year at my previous school, you know, I, I had those leadership, you know, responsibilities and pressures. And, you know, after you've been under pressure for a while, you know, you, I wouldn't say you get used to it, but it's definitely something that you deal with. And when I was playing in Australia, I had a point guard and, and she took me under her wing and she told me pressure can bust pipes and make diamonds is, is what you want to do with it. So, you know, there is there is a level of degree of pressure, but I'm completely confident, uh, confident that I'm capable. Uh, and he tells me that. And, we put in the work, so you know if I was nervous about it, I probably should practice more. I don't know, but I'm feeling good about it. I think you were able to, to, to do a lot of things, but where do you feel like even with that, you still have some improvement to make here? Yeah, a big thing of it is just you know the mental part of the game and the game of inches. You know, I, I am short, so I have to make quicker decisions. I have to make better decisions. You know, be that coach extension on the floor, and I think that's the area where I can improve on most. Um, you know, this year, and I think it's a great opportunity to, as you said, you know, new people, new teams. Like, there's not really a level of comfort except for having Coach Brooks, which is great. But um, yeah, that's that's the one place where I think I can take it. You say you're short, but man, the people that you have around you now on this team, the height that Brooks <laughs> right. has added, how excited is that to know that you're going to have that once yeah. it's all good, it's all going here? I don't think I've ever been on a team, you know, as as tall as this, and it's going to be great. I think in practice, you know, we we call it the big lineup, and it's it's me, it's Delor, and then it's just boom, like. At six foot and above, six two, six three and above. Um, but you know, it, it's great because that's what you need. You know, like especially in the SEC, you have like a lot of big teams, so it's it's a competitive um, lineup for sure. It's easy to pass the ball sometimes, but can your teammates catch the ball? Absolutely. What have you found from them? They got good hands. Oh my gosh, absolutely, they can catch it. You know, we're getting to the point now where we're moving off the ball and we find good positions. But you know, we have people that are hungry to score. Tiani Key has that aggressive mindset. Uh, D Law, like she's been really aggressive. She's a catch and shoot threat. You know, you have freshmen that I've never seen really before catch and shoot threes like Lexi Blue. You know, you have people that are wanting to score and make their mark. And you have to remember, like, coming into this, no one really had a history. Like, this is a fresh slate. So obviously people are trying to push and improve. Um, but yeah, they can for sure catch the ball. With how new this team is, what do you find that you guys have developed the quickest? Um, the quickest. <laughs> I mean, just it's the nature of everything now with the transfer portal and everything is you have to develop the chemistry quick, you know, you're not really going to, I had the blessing of playing with a bunch of girls for like three, four years, I don't think that's going to really be the same anymore, because the way that people transfer and stuff, so, you know, kind of not forcing the chemistry, but having such a high emphasis on it, like you need that, um, especially with a brand new roster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so obviously both Kentucky programs are entering these new eras of basketball. 
How do you feel being the first team of this new era of Kentucky basketball? Yeah, I mean, it's great because it's the new team and it's the new Moral Coliseum. Mm -hmm. Like, everything's kind of just, like, new. Um, so it's going to be good to, you know, leave a mark. And I think, you know, as successful as the men's team has been in previous years, you know, the women has had some success. Um, but, you know, they want to be a level of consistency. And mm -hmm. I think that, you know, it's something to work towards. It's going to be a work in progress, but I'm excited to be, you know, a part of it, especially for the first year and it being my last year. Mm -hmm. It's a great opportunity. Thank you. You know, building my confidence in my three-point shot. Mm -hmm. How different is it having, being on a team with so much size? Yeah, um, I haven't experienced that in college yet, so uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, we get to play inside out, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Who's caught your eye among your teammates? Who, who's impressed you? I mean, you can tell all the girls, they truly love the game. You can tell they're always in the gym. We have a team full of gym rats. So that's so fun to play with. Um, you know, of course, Georgia is such a leader and um, it's been a lot of fun getting to play under her. Um, Deja Lawrence as well, she is, you can tell she's just a leader. Just veteran guards that I'm really thankful that I get to learn from. What do you learn from Chris? Um, I learned that you know he respects hard work and um, energy. He always says in practice, you can control your energy, your effort, and your attitude. So those are you know things that can't be taken away from you. So. Um, I always try to bring that to practice, and uh, he seems to really harp on that. You mentioned the love you have for the school, for the state. Is there something early on when Coach got here and he was still doing things where you kind of told him, like, we actually do things a little differently? Like, how, what have you been able to teach him about what basketball culture is? Um, you know, I felt like that wasn't really my place to say, you know, because he is this great coach who's done amazing things. So. Um, I just made an effort to do whatever um, he asked of me, um, whatever expectations he had for me. I made sure to, uh, that he would let me know, just do whatever he wants. Kind of piggyback on that, what are you able to show your teammates what you're expecting in Kentucky last month, SEC, things like that? Yeah, um, you know, the girls understand that the SEC is the best conference in the league, and uh, uh, you know, it's 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 a little weird because everybody's trying to ask me and Sanaya what to expect, but the truth is we're trying to figure out what to expect just as much as everybody else because it's just a new atmosphere and Coach Brooks is, you know, bringing a new philosophy to things. So we're still learning, but it's been fun. How excited are you about the, about the new, the renovated arena? Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I had the opportunity to play freshman year in Memorial, so to see how it looked before and then get to play in the newly renovated uh, facility, it's going to be a lot of fun. And there's air conditioning. So. <laughs> <laughs> what do you tell them to expect for, to, uh, for Friday with things like that? Just, I mean, you've been through it. It's going to be his first time. What do you tell them what to expect? Yeah, um, a, lot of, a lot of the girls have been asking questions about it. They just don't know what to expect. So I've been trying to get them ready, you know, talk about the blue carpet and you know, walkout songs. Everybody's been trying to figure it out. So um, I think the fans are going to be really excited for what they have to see. As a Kentucky girl, how, how special is being able to do big events every year? Oh, it's such a blessing. It's so exciting to, you know, get to stand in front of so many Kentucky fans and so many people from Kentucky. So much of my family gets to come. Uh, it just feels like a dream come true. Coach Brooks was talking about how he wishes the team could be a little bit more wild out on the court. What, what do you think that means? You were pretty wild last year. <laughs> I think that sounds pretty much like what it is, just yelling and, uh, you know, talking to each other and just being, you know, hands everywhere on defense. Um, and I feel like we have made improvements with that, but um, we still got a ways to go. We're working on it. Okay, let's hear your best scream. No, I'm <laughs> What's it going to be like playing with all those tall players? Not only are they tall, but they're long and athletic. Oh, and yeah. And Georgia says they can all catch the ball, too. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. You see the assist um, meter going up for you? Yes. Um, I'm super excited to play with um, the post players. Uh, and like she said, they, they have great hands. 
like even if we're looking or not, they're ready to uh, pitch it and lay the ball up. So super excited for that. Do you think they really have an idea of what all this is all about? Big Blue Nation, uh, the support that some of the teams, I know the men's team usually comes out for the women's team. How, how important is for them to get a sense of what it's like around here the fans? I think they have a little bit of an idea, but I don't think they'll truly understand it until they um, see Big Blue Madness. So I'm excited for all the girls and even the coaches to see what it's like and see how much Big Blue Nation truly cares about this team. Right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. I think you took 25 charges last season. Is that something that you're still working on every day? Or? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, the hustle plays, I feel like that just brings a lot of momentum to our team. So that's something I'm definitely going to be doing again this year. Yeah. And I, I follow your dad on Twitter. He's just so <laughs> proud of you. How does that make you feel to be able to stay home and, and just, like, bring that Kentucky spirit, like, back to your family? Yeah, I mean, I can't even describe how much it means to me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm just two and a half hours down the road from my family. I get to see them, you know, pretty much every week. They come and visit me. So it's such a blessing because my family means everything to me. Something like that is not something you ever expect. But I mean, what happens is something you can deal with. You take it in and then just attack it head on. So um, coming back from that, it was just really, um, it was just challenging in all aspects. But like once the time came where I was actually able to step back on the court, it felt very um, natural. Obviously, you know, getting the flow of the game back definitely took some time and stuff like that. But that's just like normal growing, growing pains of like coming back from being out for so long. So I mean, it was it was a challenge, but it definitely was something that. Um, has helped me as a player now, even to this day, just being more mentally tough yeah. and um, being able to persevere and just, you know, getting a different feel and aspect for the game while I was out, so it was very yeah. helpful. What is one piece of advice that you wish you could, like, go back and give your, like, your freshman self the minute, like, the injury happened? I would just say definitely just have grace um, because it is something that's, like, new, so, like, especially when you get back on the court, like, um, you know, there's things like you want to be able to do, but it's like, no, it's a progression. You got to slow down and, like, you know, just um, take it day by day. So just be able to give yourself grace. Like, it's going to take time, and, you know, every little thing matters. So just, you know, keep going and don't get discouraged. Yeah. All right, so um, transferring to Kentucky, uh, can you speak on, like, what kind of wanted, like, wanted you to come and be a Wildcat? Like, what pushed you to transfer? Why specifically Kentucky? Just kind of the whole mental and thought process yeah. that went on. Um, I would say um, wanting to transfer simply because I just wanted a, more opportunities for my, myself and in um, the future I wanted to be a part of something that was um, trending in the right direction just, um, on the court as well as off the court. So um, I chose Kentucky mostly because, uh, like I said, known Coach Brooks who played against the system for uh, you know a few years, being that we both came from the ACC, so just being able to see that and seeing how I would fit into that and um, the success he's had as a, as a coach, obviously transforming their program and, and the ones before that, so um, I think that was a big reason in Kentucky and it's like, you know, everything here, the community, Big Blue Nation, like that's legendary, you know, you yeah. grew up hearing about that, so it's just great to just be able to be a part of something like um, that's just trending in the right direction and just waking and waking back up, bringing life back into life. Yeah. Um, what, sorry. what do you think was the most like welcoming part of the team? Like after transferring, kind of switching coaches, switching your teams, all the way to single degrees. Like, what is one thing you kind of like held on to that kept like even through the transitions it can be hard? And like, is there a certain player, or a coach, or like what like really like you knew that this was the place you were happy that you transferred? And, like, what was that? Um, I think it was just getting to know the coaching staff and along with the girls here like obviously a lot of us are new so we're all going through that similar thing together just being able to lean on each other and just being able to know like the coaches that have our best interests just being able to learn them was very helpful very good it was very um, it made everything a lot smooth it a lot smoother than I expected so yeah. it, was, it was great that's great and then just one more you've seen some big minutes in some really big and high pressure games um, and you been efficient in your appearances. Um, what? How have you improved this offseason? Like, what have you improved? And what do you want this next chapter to look like? And what do you want to like, come up this season? Yeah, I think just um, carrying that over, just bringing, um, like you said, the efficiency and just being being effective. Um, I think this offseason I mostly worked on a lot of um, a lot of everything. Really. Yeah. 
learning the, the system, what is expected of me by all the coaches, um, and especially Coach Brooks and just what, um, you know, our game is going to look like, our, our team is going to look like and stuff like that. So just being able to be a part of something big, something good. We have, we have good things coming here, so it's been great. Yeah, and then, sorry, I just have a little bit of then I'll be out of here. Fine. Um, those, like, high-pressure games, what is, like, one thing that you, like, kept telling yourself, like, don't freak out, kind of, like, just, like, don't mess up, like, this is a lot of pressure, but how did you, like, stay cool and collected in that process? Um, I think in those moments when there's, um, you know, the big lights and stuff like that, whenever there's high pressure, you fall, like, to the level of your training and just knowing that, you know, I've worked hard um, to get here. We all have worked hard to get here, um, regardless of who it was. So just like, you know, trusting that, trusting the, the staff and stuff like that, and the system that you've worked on all year long. I think that's, that's the biggest thing. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're Thank so you. Nice you as well. All right, so it's that part of the offseason where official practice is actually, you know, all this chatter, it all, you know, it all comes down to this, you know, so how has official practice been thus far? Oh, it's been great. Um, everything's come together really well. We're getting better each day, and that's been really exciting to see, so everything's been going really well. When he was talking, Kenny said he ran Amelia at the two, and she kind of confirmed that a minute ago. Of course, you two kind of play it, ideally, you know, at least from an outsider perspective, you kind of play a similar position. Has he ran you at the two or the three or anything like that? Um, yeah, I've been getting reps at the three, four, or five, just with being able to, um, the way the offense is, it's a lot of the um, free-flowing stuff, so just being able to um, execute at whatever position is needed, depending on the matchup and stuff like that, so yeah, it's been good. What's it been like trying to compete against, you know, Amelia or really just, you know, all these girls on this team? What's it been like, you know, iron sharpens iron, what's that been like? Oh, it's been fun. I mean, iron sharpens iron, so it's been it's been really good. Everybody's been working really hard and just um, locking in on what they do best, and then adding that to what our you know our team is expected of, and just um, bringing our individual piece, our uniqueness to the whole of what they we're expecting. So it's been it's been great. Obviously, Kenny likes you know he likes size and he likes shooting. So what's it been like trying to help uh, fit into that role? Oh, it's been great. Um, just being able to round out my game, just being more efficient, more um, well-rounded, and just being um, strong and confident in, in a lot of positions, so it's, it's been good seeing that, you know, obviously it's, it's um, interesting uh, learning a new system and stuff like that, but it's all been really smooth and really great, I'm really grateful, it's been amazing. You haven't played an SEC game here yet, but what, what's different about this conference? Um, obviously you hear the SEC is a lot more physical and stuff like that, but um, you know, I'm just really excited to get this team together. I think that's that's what it is. Like they're they're not ready for us. Nobody's really expecting knows what to expect from us. So I think just being able to bring what we bring, what we've been working on day in and day out, I think that's going to be a good addition to what everybody else has. I'm about to hit you with something really hard, here. Coach Grandma. What is Coach. What, is, what is Coach Grandma mean to you? <laughs> Coach and Grandma is my rock, okay? Coach Grandma is literally my backbone. She's my biggest supporter and my biggest hater. Um, oh, she, we call her, I call her, she gave her her own nickname, Coach Grandma. She coaches from the couch. So she texts me for every game and she, she says all the points. Like she sends me like her own scouting report of keys, her keys to win everything. This is what we need to do to win. So, but yeah, Coach Grandma, she, she supports me in everything that I do. Um, she's super excited about the season. Coach Grandma is nervous about the season though too. Coach Grandma is like, I don't know if I can watch the first couple games. I'm just so nervous. But yeah, Coach Grandma, she she's amazing. We've been, doing, we've been doing a lot of talking this offseason about what's to come, but now we're to yep. the part where it's official practice, kind of putting in that system. How's it been trying to learn about Kenny's, you know, his whole operation? Um, it's been it's been different, but it's also been a smooth, um, like a smooth transition from my old, like what I'm used to. Um, I think it's his right now. He's putting in a lot of reaction, like pro, like being proactive based offense. So like just reads, read and reaction type thing. Um, but trans, like me transitioning here has been very well. Um, he's going to get us to our spots. That's the main thing. Finding our bigs, high low action, open threes, and things like that. So it's been good. Between you and Georgia, I don't know the facts, but you might be one of the oldest backcourts in the country. You know, just just taking a good guess. 
Uh, what's it been like running, you know, the one and the two with her? It's been amazing. Um, just learning Georgia as a point guard, learning what she likes to do, um, especially in transition, just reading her. Um, it's been fun. It's been fun. I've never played with anybody as talented as Georgia and as skillful and as, like, creative as she is with the ball. So it's just been fun um, just to be a sponge and just to learn. Just whatever, like, just being in those spots, you know, like, if she... You never know she's gonna fade, drop to the basket, shoot a three. You know, you never know what George is gonna do. So just always being ready. That's one thing that I've learned. Just always being ready. You know? And you come in with a lot of talent too, especially when you're you know putting the ball in the hoop. That's I would say that if it were me talking, that's that's like yeah. that's Dejan Lawrence. Yeah. What's it What's it been like in practice, kind of competing against everybody, trying to you know, be like, hey, I'm the shooter. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this shot. It's been fun. It's been really fun. Um, just competing against everybody. When you when we compete against each other, that's when a lot of people really try to step out their shells and really, you know, not step out their shells, but step into what they're really good at, what they're best at doing. Step into their strengths. So it's been really fun just to compete with each other. Um, seeing people go there, like let the dog come out a little bit. Like I'm really like that. So that's been fun to watch. Um, so yeah, that's made this. It's been really fun. Kenny talked about, you know, he said, you know, this is a really fun group. But I'm trying to see more of that personality. You think you helped bring that out a little bit? I try to. Yeah. I try to. Um, I probably don't do a good job with getting into everybody like I should. So that's still something that we can work on. But it's getting better each day. Um, we're getting a little bit more competitive each day, just going at each other. I just think we like each other too much. We don't want to get too competitive. But um, each day, we're, we're, getting, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so if I heard Kenny right just a second ago, he said he's been running you at the two a little bit in practice. Yeah, so a little bit, two, three, um, four. Okay, so just all in between now, is it like different different kinds of things you're running at those positions, or is it kind of just you you all running the same thing at those different spots? Um, obviously, like they're quite similar um, when running the players. Obviously, they're all, they're all very similar, like, like coming off handoffs, like still setting screens. So, like, yeah. Did you expect to maybe get some reps at the two? You know, being you know six foot, what six foot three? Mm -hmm. You know, like was that something you expected coming in? Or um, I did expect it a little bit, probably more of, of like the three. Um, but obviously now having like injuries, he, um, yeah. he did tell me that he needed like me to kind of step up and be like versatile within like the two, three. And we're getting into this part of the off season where it's actually you know official practice. You can get things worked in. How's it been so far? Just learning the new system. Yeah, practice has been going good. Obviously, everyone's just learning the new system, um, getting to know each other, and obviously getting to know Coach Brooks and stuff. But overall, we're we're getting better each day, which is good. What's been your biggest, I don't know if I'll say takeaway, but what's, what's one thing you've really noticed that you've kind of enjoyed throughout this process so far? Um, one thing that I've probably enjoyed is just getting to know each other more and starting to be comfortable within his system that he runs. Um, it's probably one thing that I'm really enjoying. How nice is it having Georgia, or you know, really all these guards, really to be able to dish the ball to you when you're trying to get a shot off? Yeah, no, it's really great. Obviously, um, coming down the court, and obviously Georgia um, getting so many players like just watching her and having that open shot um, on the three point line just yeah, is really cool. Obviously, you all come here as teammates, but I'm, I'm, there is a competitive nature a little bit there in practice. How, how competitive is it whenever you know you're trying to outshoot somebody or do better than someone in a dribble? Yeah, it is competitive, um, but it's obviously we still love each other, so it's that it's kind of natural competitiveness. Um, just knowing that we're still a team, we obviously play for each other, we play for Coach Books, but yeah, there definitely is that competitive side to each other. So we're to that part of the off season where you're actually in official practice and you're learning and everything how's it been so far it's been great i mean starting practices have been so nice we're surrounded by a great group of girls so practices have been great and we're learning and getting better so Awesome. What's it been like for you competing against everyone? Of course, you know, you have Georgia, Deja, mm -hmm. Cassidy, Snyam, I and mean, all these great guards to kind of learn from. Lexi, yeah. you know, alongside with you as a freshman, what's it yeah. been like? I mean, it's been great learning from everybody, and we're all bringing something to the table, so it's been awesome just to learn and get better. And then for you, you know, maybe not a takeaway, but what's something you've really, just one specific thing you've really enjoyed about, you know, learning Kenny's system, just kind of the whole practice as we get closer to the season? Yeah, I mean, we're really focused on the little details and focusing on the little things to make is great so I would just say adapting and learning and learning new levels to the things I already knew has been really really great with Big Blue Madness this Friday mm -hmm. do you have any idea what to expect you just rolling in blind I'm just rolling in blind I'm super excited though I've heard it's a great event and really excited for it to come it's almost here so it should be great uh, and this one last thing you know 
you're, you're in practice, and you know, and me watching y'all's film, it seems like to me, I would say you're one of the better. Just me as an outsider, like you know, Tana's a really good perimeter defender. What's it like when you're guarding somebody, you get a stop or they score? What's that trash talk like back and forth? Uh, I'm not much of a trash talker, okay. but I definitely feels good getting a stop and then getting your bucket on the other end makes you feel something you just want to go back and get it again. So hungry on defense is definitely something I enjoy doing. What's it like taking pride in your defense? Because again, you know, I'm watching the film and I'm like, man, she's, you know, really getting after it on the perimeter. Yeah. You know, how much pride do you take in? Because obviously everybody wants to score, mm -hmm. but what's it like being one, you know, I'm going to go make the stop and I'm going to go make a play for my team. Yeah, I, I just love defense. I feel like defense is a huge part of the game and if everything else isn't going well, I know I can always rely on my defense and just it's about effort and energy and just trying to get the ball. So, yeah. Thank you. So